What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all another video, man. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about, man, LSU, um, over the last couple of days, have added a four-star wide receiver um, to the 2021 recruiting class from Louisiana, which gives them the top four prospects in the state. And LSU today has got another player coming in, um, a, trans a linebacker transfer um, from Clemson, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, um, so feel free to DM me whenever I get a chance to. I'll get back at you. Um, come on, I'll let you bar, yo. Uh, first off, man, with the wide receiver, Brian Thomas, man, um, big kid, big tall kid, man, 6'4". Um, a lot of people believed that he was going to go to A&M or Alabama, but he decided to stay home and come to LSU, which for the first time, man, in probably ever, if not in a long time, the, the LSU has got the top four ranked players from the two four, from 247, um, the recruiting um, thing or whatever. They got the top, all four of the top four players. And when you think about them getting Mason Smith, Sage Ryan, Chris uh, Hilton, now, now with Brian Thomas. This class has just been sky's the limit, yo. Um, you know, these receivers coming in next year, um, along with Keyshawn Butte coming back for a sophomore season, this receiving core is going to be very, 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 very good, man. But I got to give a shout out to Coach O for, um, you know, one thing that he did say when he got hired um, permanently was, he wanted to build a fence around the state of Louisiana. And I mean, you know, he's done it to the absolute power, basically. Um, the very top four recruits are all going to LSU, man. So I just want to tip my hat um, to Coach O, and he's done a tremendous job of keeping Louisiana talent in Louisiana, you know, for the most part. Yo, shout out to Coach O for that. Um, and like I said, Brian Thomas, man, just, just adds to this, you know, this very deep receiving core and this very, very good, you know, recruiting class, yo. Big, big time get for them. Um, and another thing, another thing, man, um, LSU got linebacker from Clemson, Mike Jones Jr., uh, who entered the transfer portal, portal on January 25th, has announced today that he will be joining the LSU Tigers. And the beauty of it, he's eligible immediately. Um, another guy like uh, that's adding depth to a position that we need depth. Um, clearly, we got a couple of young linebackers um, that's that's in the um, in Demond Clark, a veteran coming back um, that you think would be ready to step up and play. But you know, with this move, Mike Jones Jr. going to come in and most likely be a starter, and it allows those younger guys to continue to develop. You know, instead of being thrown out there, you know in the fire or uh, thrown out there in the water with no life jacket. So um, big time get for LSU guy, had a couple of interceptions this season, um, a very athletic, you know, four, was a four star recruit coming out of high school. Um, just just a very good couple of days for LSU, yo. Getting Brian Thomas, basically knowing that we done built that fence, you know, in Louisiana for our Louisiana prospects. Um, and then getting a guy, a linebacker that's ready to come in, similar to what we did with Jabril Cox out of North Dakota State last year, getting the guy that's ready to just absolutely come in and start contributing, you know, right away. Yo, big, big time get for the Tigers, man. Like I said, I am just completely, completely excited for next season to see what these co these coaches do, um, with these with these, you know, incoming freshmen do, the players that's already there with experience do. And, um, and I want to see what this transfer linebacker do. And we also got a, the number one JUCO linebacker in the country also. I'm very excited for this 2021 season, yo. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have LSU and NCAA content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific, I'm going to do a live Q&A. Yo, come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything, I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me, it'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.